Welcome to Roland University's Support Tutorials video series. Today's lesson will be Print, Laminate, Cut with Cam1 Pro GX500 and VersaArt RS640 in Roland VersaWorks. We've broken down today's lesson into six parts. Set up the GX Cutter in VersaWorks, import file into Roland VersaWorks, print to the VersaArt RS640, laminate those prints, transfer the file to the cut queue, and output to the GX Cutter. Step 1. Set up the GX Cutter and roll in VersaWorks. Prior to using VersaWorks, the USB driver must be installed. It can be found on the included CD or on our website at rollinddga.com. With the USB driver installed, open up VersaWorks. Since we're using an RS640 today, that has already been installed. Set up the cutter the same way by going to Printer, Printer Settings. This will open up the printer settings window. Inside you'll see your printer already listed. Add new printer will allow you to open up a new device. Normally our printers are installed with IP addresses but for today we'll be using USB. Now you'll notice an alphanumeric heading here. This is because all of the USB devices on your computer will be listed not necessarily as a Roland device. Choose one and click verify to make sure it's the GX500. Clicking Verify will cause bidirectional communication for VersaWorks to identify the GX500. Click Apply and click OK to close the window. Now you'll notice the GX500 in its own queue along with the icon designating it as a rolling device. When opening a cutter, you'll notice that the Cut Controls tab is the only thing available very very similar to what is currently on our print cut devices in VersaWorks. Step 2. Import the file into Roll in VersaWorks. In Roll in VersaWorks a file can be ported one of two ways. Either by going to File Add job to QA, or by clicking and dragging a file from a file folder directly into the queue. By double clicking on the job, you open up the job settings window. Make sure to input the proper size for the cutter you're using. For the GX500, it's 49 inches. Set the number of copies you wish to print and cut. Change the orientation if you like, and center on the media. Under the Quality tab, select the media which you'll be printing on. Today we'll be using MCVP, which is a matte calendared vinyl. If you're using the Roland Spot Color Library, make sure to check Convert Spot Color. And under the Marks tab, make sure to identify that you're going to be using crop marks in VersaWorks. This is identical to the standard print laminate cut workflow on a printer cutter if you're only using one device. When finished, click OK to close the screen and rip and print as you normally would on our regular printers. Step 3. Print to the VersaArt. After clicking on the Print tab, the job will be sent to the VersaArt. Depending on which print settings you've chosen, your print will be printed in high quality, standard, or high speed mode with crop marks designated by VersaWorks. When printing is finished, sheet cut and remove the prints from the printer, noticing that all four crop marks have been printed correctly. Step 4. Laminate. Using a hot or cold laminator, insert the prints with chosen laminate A clear laminate with a clear adhesive is preferable so that the crop marks can be read by the optical eye. And leave some margin just to be safe. Step 5. Transfer the file to cut queue. Once the file has been ripped in VersaWorks on your Roland printer, 
It is then easily transferred to the cut queue simply by clicking and dragging. Now you're ready to send to the cutter. Step 6. Output to the GX cutter. Outputting to the cutter is identical to outputting to the printer. By opening up the job settings window, the cut controls tab is listed. By zooming in and taking a closer look, we'll see that our file includes a perf cut line, which is a technology that cuts through the vinyl as well as the backer, as shown here. Our file also contains a cut contour line, shown by the red dotted lines. As shown here. Similar to our print cut interface, you have cut image boundaries, enable advanced settings, and your perforated cut controls tab. Similar to the printers, Clicking the print icon will output to the cutter. When loading into the cutter, make sure that the crop marks are lined up on the cutter protection strip. This way the laser can read them easily. And again, similar to our print cut devices, the laser will read the first crop mark on the bottom right, followed by the bottom left, followed by the top right followed by the top left and in cases where the laser doesn't find the crop mark automatically it will take three passes to make sure that it can find it and once it has found all four crop marks and scanned them into memory it now knows exactly where the cut date is and we'll begin contour and perf cutting your design. This concludes our support tutorial for today. Thank you for joining us. For more information, you can see our website at rollinddga.com or contact us toll free at 800-542-2307.